Welcome to Das Geek. So if you're having this issue, you're as frustrated as I've been for the last couple of days, but I found a solution and it's simple solution that anybody can understand. Um, and we'll get into some of the discussion pieces after. So how do you fix it? Well, the first thing is you can't just launch NVIDIA X server settings uh, from your menu like I have here because you have no real permissions at this point. Um, obviously I have 144 Hertz monitor and I want force composition pipeline uh, here to be checked because of OBS screen tearing with certain desktop environments and certain distributions. I didn't have this issue in Manjaro, but I'm having this issue in Intergos. So in any case, uh, what we need to do is we need to launch this from our terminal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your terminal. And I'm sure there are many ways to do some of the things that I'm doing, but this is the easiest for me. And just do sudo NVIDIA settings and there you go. So now we're running this with some administrative rights and we can go into our configurations, make our changes here. Like if you had 144 Hertz monitor, you wanted a different resolution, whatever you want. And under advanced, you know, if you're, you're having screen tearing issues, check those. So now you're going to save this to a configuration file. Of course, you don't have the rights to be able to save this where you need it. So this is just step one of it. So you're going to click browse and just save it somewhere where you can remember the path. In my case, I just saved it under home, DOS geek, and I saved it as 20-nvidia.conf, okay? Because we're basically gonna have this run as a startup every single time it starts X11. So 20-nvidia.conf and save it somewhere. So once you save that file, now you've got your configuration saved, but you're not done just yet. So we're gonna go back uh, here into the terminal uh, let me open a new one because that one's kind of ugly and you may not be able to see what I'm typing here. And we're going to use this command here. So you're going to do a sudo cp, which is copy. This is the directory where we just saved those settings that we want it to run every single time it runs x11. And we're saving it in the Etsy folder x11 xorg.conf.d. In certain distributions, there's no .d. You can go into your file manager and find which path you want to use. And then, of course, 20-nvidia.com. So that's where we want it. So if we take a look at what I've done here uh, in the file manager, we can uh, go to root. We can go to Etsy. We can scroll down here till we find x11. And here is my xorg.conf.d. Now you can go here ahead of time because if it doesn't find .d, then just go here and see what it has for xorg. And here's our script that's going to run. Here are our settings that are going to run every time we reboot. I've rebooted, I've logged out, I've tried this multiple times and it works. There are other solutions online for this and forums and everything else. I couldn't find any videos on it, which was surprising. Maybe they're out there, but I couldn't find them and the solutions everyone else was giving were just disastrously difficult and confusing and I felt like I was going to mess something up. This is a really simple way and I hope it helps. So as far as discussing this issue, um, it's very frustrating. I don't know whose fault it is necessarily, but I will tell you this. In Manjaro, when I saved the settings there in the NVIDIA settings, I did not have to go back each time after logging out and rebooting. Maybe I got lucky, maybe they're doing something different. Uh, additionally, in the NVIDIA settings, it would be really nice if they kind of had a default path there when you're going to save that file so you kind of know where it needs to go because that was the other issue that took me forever to kind of figure out, well, where does this need to go? Uh, other solutions, again, have you configuring uh, a bunch of different uh, settings uh, within NVIDIA's default uh, storage setting uh, areas and I just felt when I was adding lines and things to it that I was going to ruin something and it scared me but this is just a very simple fix for that problem and again I don't know where the issue lies but I think it is something that needs to be addressed I've ran into it in other distributions as well uh, Manjaro would be the only distribution I didn't experience the problem in. So interesting. Love to know your thoughts. If you know what the issue is, what's causing it, have some more insight into the problem, understand what Manjaro is doing differently um, so that it doesn't have this issue. Again, I was running KDE Plasma Manjaro, so I don't think it's desktop environment specific uh, at all here. Uh, 
Um, but one thing that is desktop environment specific is the screen tearing issues that you can run into uh, in using things like when I've used Cinnamon, I've ran into it. When I use GNOME, I run into it. Um, in KDE, I don't run into that issue, but I've just gotten into the habit of selecting that. Um, but I did have the issue, of course, here with the making sure the monitor stays at 144 hertz. So in any case, leave your comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helped you if you're running into the same issue. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.